staff who have worked so hard, not just tonight, but throughout the day, uh, the unsung heroes of the democratic process who make this all happen for those of us who take part in it. Um, thank you also to the uh, Police Scotland for the work that they have done in making sure that our democracy is able to continue uh, without hindrance. I uh, would also like to thank my campaign team. Many people have been so involved in this campaign, but a couple in particular deserve special mention to my campaign manager, Ros Curry. <laughs> to my agent, Jane Fenham. this campaign with a level of dedication and enthusiasm that, to be frank, we did not have two years ago when we fought the same contest. It has been a remarkable result, and I, I very much want to thank the people of Edinburgh East for putting their faith in me returning me to Parliament for the third time. And I want to thank in particular not just those people who have always put their faith in the Scottish National Party, but those people who at this election have decided to trust the SNP to stand up for Scotland and represent their I know, I know that there are many people uh, in Edinburgh East who with a different voting system, a more fair voting system, I would not have been their first preference, but they have tactically chosen to put their faith in me. And to those Green and Labour and other people who did that, I want them to know that we as a party are very much listening to them and want to engage them in how we take our country forward. Now, many, of us, many of us in this campaign have been struck by the degree of uncertainty uh, uh, that there is amongst many of the population. We've got many, many people in this campaign who weren't quite ready to support the Scottish National Party and they weren't quite ready to support the cause of Scottish independence. But we could see that their minds were open to the possibility in a way that they have never been before, because of the way in which the United Kingdom has conducted itself over the years since our referendum in 2014. And many of those fair-minded people, even though they do not agree necessarily at this point in time with Scotland becoming an independent country, they do absolutely agree that that is a decision that should be made in Scotland and in nowhere else. Now we have to do a matter, not for the first, not for the second, but the third time since 2014. And our mandate is to oppose Boris Johnson's government, to try and oppose, even at this final hour, the Brexit of the United Kingdom is contemplating and to assert the principle that people here have got the right to choose a better form of government should they so wish. And that is something that from Monday morning we will prosecute and we will fight for that mandate and Boris Johnson had better start listening to the people of Scotland because if he doesn't then the people will take matters into their own hands and decide their own future, whether he likes it or not. Yeah!